Welcome back, everybody. Now here is Stan Turner in the Great Weekend Newsroom with all the latest news. Good morning, Stan. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Dale. And good morning, everybody. As you begin your weekend, here is a look at the news you need to know. Today, President Reagan and Canadian Prime Minister Mul Rooney are signing a free trade agreement. It will gradually end tariffs between our two countries. In the meantime, the President and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev exchanged their second annual New Year's messages. Good evening. This is Ronald Reagan, President of the United States. Seasons greetings and best wishes from all Soviet people. Both the leaders expressed happiness about their summit meeting and the treaty they signed to control nuclear weapons. President Reagan did use the occasion to plug his Star Wars project, and here's part of what he had to say. Today, both America and the Soviet Union have an opportunity to develop a defensive shield against ballistic missiles, a defensive shield that will threaten no one. For the sake of a safer peace, I am committed to pursuing the possibility that technology offers. All in all, the messages were mostly upbeat, especially concerning the increased cultural and scientific contact between our people. Like thousands of strands, those contacts are beginning to weave into what I would call a tangible fabric of trust and growing mutual understanding. The pre-taped messages were seen in both the Soviet Union and the United States. In the Mideast, on the Gaza Strip, it was calm today. The violence expected on the 23rd anniversary of the PLO's main guerrilla group never materialized. Israelis say that's because their soldiers were patrolling the streets by the thousands. Since December the 8th, Israeli troops have killed 22 Palestinians in violent riots. Presidential candidate Jesse Jackson has been released from a hospital in Greenfield, Massachusetts. He was treated for back pain, but was released after just a few hours. Looking ahead in California tonight, President and Mrs. Reagan are attending a gala tribute to Bob Hope. That'll be in Palm Springs. This weekend, former First Lady Betty Ford leaves a California hospital. She's been there since Tuesday after being treated for complications following coronary bypass surgery. And Tuesday, the U.S. House of Representatives reconvenes. Then they will adjourn for three weeks. And Friday, in Iowa, Democratic presidential candidates will be holding a debate. And this has been a look at the news of the day and of the future. Dale and Bob, back to you. Thanks a lot, Stan. Now, in our next half hour, we will update the weekend weather again for you. We will hear the latest medical news, including an encouraging report on exercise, especially for those of you who hate it and a consumer alert about travel frauds and some more ideas for your weekend. That and more after these words.